Major funding for Odyssey was provided by the National Endowment for the Humanities. Additional funding was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And Polaroid. The mud of these shores conceals a clue in America's most baffling manhunt. For 20 years, the clue has been lost underwater. It's exposed now because a drought lowered the surrounding lake. The drought over, the lake is rising rapidly, threatening again to submerge the clue, evidence of an ancient campfire that baked the yellow-brown clay to red. Here we have uh, the oxidized zone and over here, you can see the charcoal on this. Uh, Smithsonian archaeologist Dennis Stanford is racing the water to prove this is a place where people once lived. It's all very suggestive of early man. But so far, we haven't found anything that closes and locks the door. You know? The Louisville site, north of Dallas, Texas, has long been an embarrassment for American archaeology, even denounced as a fraud. Emotions are high because of the site's apparent age, 40,000 years. Well, it will certainly push back the antiquity of man in the New World. And if we can say, yes, man has been in Texas for 40,000 years, we would essentially have to rewrite the existing textbooks. Today has been an anxious one at Louisville, preparing for a visit from Stanford's close friend, Vance Haynes of the University of Arizona. Haynes, who has been in Egypt for several weeks, has rushed here to see the site before it again disappears. He is known for his caution and skepticism. The textbooks are safe unless he can be convinced it was a campfire hearth that baked the clay to red, and not some natural event like a forest fire. Well, there's definitely fire. Definitely fire. No, I think everything still has to be remain uh, on the testing that uh, Dennis is doing to uh, find out what, in addition to the shape of the thing, what may be associated with it. Yeah. So it's really a very early stage. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't make any conclusions based on it now. And I don't think he will either. This visit took place in March 1979. At the time, little had been found. Even washing the excavated mud through screens left nothing but small lumps of hardened clay. Just three days after our filming here, the site was again drowned by the lake. But even underwater, Louisville had surprises in store for the summer of 1979, as Odyssey joined archaeologists from the United States and Canada in seeking the first Americans. Our journey took us north to the Yukon and Alaska to trace the route the first Americans took to get here. Much of the journey was made in the company of Dennis Stanford and Vance Haynes. Their search for early man during 1979 was in part an attempt to reconcile their own different views about when people came to the New World and who those people were. We're beginning to get a, an inkling of what it is we're looking for. And as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the most important and exciting uh, archaeological problem in the new world today. And we're just on the threshold of discovery. We really are. It's just now starting, and it's really neat. The story begins really with stone. 